What is going on, guys? Jerma here. I'm bringing you the new Team Fortress 2 update, the Mano Technology update. Huge, huge deal, guys. The Engineer, the Sniper, and the Spy all got new awesome items. Going to talk about them in brief detail right now. Going to show you them all. It's so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Let's start off with the Engineer. The new shotgun is the Widowmaker. On hit, damage dealt is returned as ammo. No reload necessary. Minus 60 ammo per shot, and it uses metal for ammo. The new pistol is the Short Circuit. On fire, generates an electrical field that destroys projectiles and does slight damage to players. No reload necessary. No random crits, uses metal, and it takes 35 ammo. Ammo is metal, guys, if, you want, if you're wondering that. It's the 200 ammo you get, you have to use that as your actual ammo. It's a very strange mechanic, but we'll get into that later. The sniper got a new sniper rifle, the Machina or the Machina, on full charge. 15% more damage done per shot, and if you have a full charge, it can go through people. The big downside for this weapon, guys, is it cannot fire unless it is zoomed, and it fires tracer rounds. So no more no-scoping with the sniper rifle if you're going to use this. And people are all going to know where you are because it fires the tracer rounds. On to the spy. He got a ridiculous new revolver and a new hat, which is actually kind of funny. The diamondback gives one guaranteed critical hit for each building destroyed with your sapper attached. Minus 15% damage done and no random crits. So this is kind of a reverse frontier justice for the spy. If you destroy, It works on many sentries as well. So if you destroy a sentry with your sapper you are going to get one crit, and it stacks too. So like I said, it's kind of like the Frontier Justice for the Spy. I'll show you all these items now in detail, me playing with them. It's super exciting. I can't wait to show you guys these things. They're all ridiculous. Oh, the Heavy, by the way, got a new miscellaneous item, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. It's just kind of there for fun. Everyone got a new hat too, new sunglasses, new, uh, new hat and stuff like that. It's kind of, it's for the Deus Ex Human Revolution, that new game that's coming out for the new Deus Ex series. You can get all these items if you pre-order Deus Ex, the new Deus Ex game, or you can find them in drops, and they are craftable. But I went ahead and I bought Deus Ex because I wanted Deus Ex anyways. So let's get into this, guys. Here we're going to start with the Engineer and the new Engineer items. Let's start by saying that this is a very, very odd mechanic. Take a look at my ammo count down there. It takes 60 ammo to shoot it. You do not have a clip anymore. There's no reloading. There's no... Reload time or anything like that. It's just 60 metal to shoot that gun, and it's 35 metal to shoot the new pistol. Very, very weird mechanic, because you'll find that you'll have no more metal left to shoot the gun, and you're kind of just like, oh, crap, now what do I do? It's going to take a lot of getting used to, but for a combat engineer, this will be an awesome new item, especially the new shotgun, because how many times have you been able to not place a mini sentry down when you wanted to? Because it didn't have enough ammo or metal. See, look at my ammo count. 113, 96. You shoot, you lose, but you gain. It's, it's weird. And then this new item here, this new pistol, it electrocutes people. It's very, very odd. Hopefully we can figure this all out, guys, in the near future, in the next couple weeks. It works on buildings as well. So if you shoot a building, I believe point blank it gives you, let's see here, I think it's, I think it's 80 to 85 metal per point blank shot. So I electrocute this sniper. It's kind of a weird mechanic. It, it's, it's like a Tesla coil, kind of. And it spreads, too, by the way. So if you electrocute somebody and there's a bunch of people around, it will hit every single person around there. This also destroys projectiles. The new pistol. See how I shot that building? How I did? Watch this. See? Plus 60, plus 60. If you get close enough to people, it's sort of like having infinite ammo and you never have to reload. But the problem here, guys is you have to be a good shot. If you miss all the time, if you're not good with the shotgun, I do not recommend you try and get this item because you will just lose metal over and over again. So I get a little assist with that thing. It, it's very weird. See, 60, 60, 60, 80, 80. It's very, very cool. See, look at... See how this thing is spreading? The electrical charge is spreading around. Maybe it's a new spy check mechanic. Maybe you can check for spies. I'm not sure yet, guys. This is the first time I've ever played with it. Just want to make sure I get you guys some cool gameplay with it so you see exactly how the item works. I haven't tried to destroy any projectiles with it yet, with the with the pistol, because I hadn't I didn't really have a chance, to be honest. So trying to get that to work, I'm assuming that it's sort of like a reflect. You just click, it just you just click once and that's it. Let's move on to the spy. This is really, really cool. You'll see here. I decloak next to this sentry over here. It doesn't matter, like I said, it can be a mini sentry, it can be a big sentry. 
Backstab the Engineer, put the Sapper on, and look at the lower right. One crit I miss, but it's okay. I just wanted to show you guys how it all works. I actually do something pretty cool in a minute here. I get a Soldier. It works on many sentries, big sentries, doesn't matter. As long, and you, it's an assist too. It'll work on assists too. So if you assist somebody in destroying a sentry by putting a Sapper on it, you will get the crit. It just has to be on the sentry. See this mini sentry right here? Place the Sapper on. Did I get the kill? I did. But that Pyro actually helped me, and I get the crit kill. That Soldier, 102 damage. It is insane, guys. I can see so many people using this over the Ambassador. I'm going to use this over the Ambassador now because it stacks. If you're a good spy, you can potentially hold three or four crits in this thing if you kill a couple mini sentries. On to the Sniper now. As you saw, just headshot of that heavy, and you saw the tracer rounds. It's a direct line coming out of your sniper rifle right to where you are. If you can see, see how it's still there after I shot the demo man? It lasts for about one or two seconds. Not really that big of a deal, but it kind of can be when you're trying to be sneaky and trying to hide. People are going to see it. It's a red flag. See right there? People know exactly where I am. Get a couple headshots. But the big deal about this sniper rifle, guys, is the fact that if you make the charge go up to 100%, it will do 15% more damage, and it will go through people. Now, I don't really get to utilize, I don't really get to show you it going through people, but you'll see how much damage it does with a full charge shot. I believe it's 518 damage for a full charge headshot, which is insane, but you gotta remember, guys, a fully overhealed heavy is only 450 health. So this weapon, if you fully charge and shoot somebody in the face, you're going to be doing way too much damage, way more damage than you ever needed to do in the first place. Where this weapon is going to shine is if a line of people are in a corridor and you body shot somebody and it goes through four people. Another downside of this weapon though, guys, is you cannot no scope. No scoping is disabled. If you try to do it, it just makes a clicking sound. So this weapon is really catering to bringing back the SMG. That's in my opinion because you have no other option. You have to be zoomed in when you shoot. So I think that this paired up with the SMG would be a very, very good combination. We'll see how things play out in the next couple weeks. If they nerf, if they buff some of these items, I have no idea. We will find out. But guys, thank you so much for watching. That's pretty much all I got. I wanted to really rush this out and give you guys a really, really good look at all the new items. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of information from it. I did from doing it. So take care, everybody, and have fun with the new update, guys. See you later.